The Clayton County police chief is standing by his officer's actions after that officer held a group of teenagers at gunpoint. It started when a gas station worker called 911 to report teenagers he thought had a gun outside of the store. We have surveillance video from very close to that store. It's a gas station. It shows a group of teenagers all under the age of 15, and one of them is holding up what we now know is a BB gun. Police say it looked real. In the officer's body camera video, we see him approach the teenagers with his gun drawn and shouting a warning. Stop! All of y'all, stop! Get your hands up! Up! Walk towards me! Get your hands up, you're gonna get hurt! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! After a while, a crowd begins to form, and a video that was taken by someone here there has gone viral. In it, a woman questions why the officer is pointing a weapon at the teenagers. It's too much. It's they babies. She really can't check nobody. They babies. She can't even check nobody. They babies, though. That Facebook video sparked outrage and prompted the department to release a lot of information to put what happened into context. They released almost 15 minutes of body camera footage to the 911 call. Police say after patting down the boys to make sure there was no weapon, the officer takes them back to the gas station where they showed him a BB gun they had tossed into the bushes. Investigators say it looks like a, a real semi-automatic pistol. Police tell us they warned the boys about the danger of carrying guns like this, then contacted their parents before releasing them. Tracy A. McPeer joins us live after speaking directly with the police chief late this afternoon about everything that's happened. Tracy? Well, earlier, some of the protesters came here to the police department, and I asked them what their main complaint was in the situation. And as you predicted, it was that they pointed a gun at the teens, that the police officer did. Now, when the officer approached the teens on Monday night, he had his weapon drawn, but Chief Kevin Roberts says once he ascertained they weren't armed, he pointed it down. When asked if the officer could have used a taser instead of a gun, here's what Chief Roberts had to say. That's not a fair request. That's not a fair request at all. Not saying that the, we know these young men weren't armed, but he did not know. And to, to ask someone to use a taser when there's a possible firearm present puts you in a losing position already. Now, take a look. Here's the actual BB gun that they found in the bushes where the teens admitted they tossed it. Now, when we asked Chief Roberts what grade he would give his officer in this situation, he said an A-plus because of the de-escalation that the officer performed during the situation. Now, he said that he will be meeting with the teens and their parents, but they don't have a meeting date quite yet. All right, and I know the chief also pointed out that the officer made an attempt to reach out to these parents as well. Tracy, thank you so much. We talked to the retired chief deputy of the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office to get his perspective on this case in Clayton County and also the shooting of Richard Brooks. He has some great insight, and that's coming up at 530.